My name is John Fusco. I am the writer and director of a short film called The Guy. Um, the movie is about a young man who his entire existence is sort of taken over by a hyper masculine alter ego um, and he has to come to terms with some things in his life and recontrol his, his life in that sense. There were a few unforeseen obstacles in uh, the production of the guy, as there are in pretty much every movie. Um, you know, first off, I this is my first short, and uh, I wrote a script that I thought would be easy to shoot, but uh, it also included a boat fight and um, a child actor uh, and multiple locations, and those are all things that I should have really accounted for in the beginning. I'd say the boat fight was probably the most challenging out of all those. Uh, because, you know, you have to really reckon with the sunlight in that sense, where um, if the light's hitting the water at a certain time, at a certain angle, if we're doing a medium shot, uh, we're gonna start to see some reflection of the water the ripple on the face. So we're really finding time and light in a way that uh, we didn't really account for um, until post-production. <laughs> which was unfortunate. There was a, another moment uh, on set where we lost an entire scene um, that we shot that you know at first we thought was pretty instrumental to the plot uh, and we'd spent um, a good two or three hours shooting it the night before a company move. Um, and there were a few things that a director can do in that situation. They can either freak out and like start blaming people or uh, hold a bitterness towards whoever you know dropped the file or shot over a card or you can like move on and figure it out later and uh, keep the atmosphere on set vital and uh, happy and so that's what I chose to do and that was the right move <laughs> um, you know my experience here at Palm Springs International uh, has been pretty incredible we've screened at a few other festivals but nothing nearly as big as this um, I also have attended a few, fest a few festivals uh, in the past as press. Uh, I used to work for a website called No Film School, and um, we, uh, you know, as a member of the press, you're treated to some shorts blocks and talking with some directors, but a festival like this is like very special because the programming is just so good, and the way that they segment um, all the shorts to have uh, to, to come together in very odd but similar thematic material um, is awesome. And also somehow, you know, my, my short screened at 10.30 in the morning and people were showing up. So uh, the community is very enthused, I'll say. Uh, and that's been refreshing and cool. And also, you know, taking advantage of these round tables, uh, these forums, um, you know, I talked to some managers and some uh, agents earlier this morning, and I had have no idea about that side of the industry, so uh, that was really valuable for me. It's kind of hard for me to even determine what I've gotten out of film festivals yet. Uh, I'm still sort of navigating that situation. As I said, this is my first short ever, so it's a little bit overwhelming just figuring out how I should best be taking advantage of my time here. Um, I'd say, you know, it's been really great meeting future collaborators, um, especially for short films, that seems to be like the route to go. Um, meeting new people that you can maybe rely on later for uh, different things. Like I was at a short uh, fest in uh, San Francisco and I met a practical effects designer, like a creature designer. And I don't know if I'm ever gonna make a movie with like creatures, but if I do, now I got that. And I want it to be practical, obviously. I don't want to use VFX for those things, but um, so that's really great. And then, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to tell if it's just like a big celebration of your own work, <laughs> and everyone's kind of just uh, you know celebrating themselves. So it's a little bit uh, scary in that way. But you know, trying to keep uh, keep keeping uh, sort of your mind on how this could help you later down the road while also trying to enjoy the moment and um, not freak yourself out too much is, uh, is an important thing I'm finding. The best piece of advice I think I can give is just to make a story that only you could tell, um, have it be extremely personal, 
those are the stories that are always the most captivating and they're also the stories that give you the most confidence as a director uh, you're handling material that you know is just your own um, essentially and that way you know you communicate that with your crew you get them on the same wavelength and uh, hopefully you can all collaborate to build your vision together